Hey, I'm in a Cinema 4D 2023 and playing with the new cloth tag, which is amazing. And there's this balloon tab here, which is great. And it makes you, lets you do animations like this, which will, will take a long time normally. But the tab's so basic, all you can use is over pressure and your expansion time. And the, I mean, these are perfect, but you can't use any, there's no options for fields or vertex maps or anything. On surface, I mean, you've got twirl downs for, for everything and also on soft body. But I guess balloons is too new. But anyway, I figured out how to, how to get it working. So you can see here, it's inflating from left to right. So it comes in letter by letter. Um, so how you do it is, uh, let's take, let's not make any file. All right. Okay, so here's my text. Um, I'll just get rid of the cache here so we can do it from the start. Closing cache. Okay, so I've I've, I've used the I've used the um, balloon tab to make this text blow up. Oh, I'll just turn off gravity. Okay. I mean, you can do it <coughs> a lot as well. It's such a good. <laughs> a bit ugly that one. Um, right. Okay. So what we've done. So once you've got your simulation going and you're done with that and you're happy with it, what you need to do is cache it. You have to cache it, otherwise this doesn't work. And then we're going to use a uh, pose morph to uh, to get fields working. So let's duplicate that and call it original and delete the cloth tag. And then we're going to we can turn, we can hide the inflate because we're just going to be working on this original duplicate. So we go in to rigging and we add in a pose morph. Um, and we're going to morph the points because they're the same. Um, delete pose zero. Base pose will be original. And we're going to morph into the inflate. Click yes. I change this to the mixing to area, I just find it's less buggy. But now, so the morph, the morph tag is, the, uh, the post morph is just letting us to morph between those two. Okay, um, make sure that's on 100 and then go on animate. But again, yeah, I mean, you, you, here you'd think, okay, well, I can use fields and vertex maps, but you still can't do that. So, change that to animate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a, um, not a pose morph, but just a morph. Ah, morph. Um, I think this is MoGraph morph. But when we add this in, and it's brought in our pose morph because it was selected. But if that's empty, then you just take your pose morph tag and drop it in there. We'll make it a child of the original. But now we can use this MoGraph um, slider. But now look, we've got fields. So now what we can do is put in fields. Uh, and we can start animating fields, which is what we want to do. So look, now we can control how it comes in. Um, okay, let me just keyframe this. But we're still not done because there's another problem which you'll see in a second. And this is the problem <clears throat> which I've been trying to figure out for the last few hours. All right, it's not working. Okay, look, we've got that. But see what happens. As soon as the linear field finishes, the animation stops. You see here, it stopped. Now there's no movement here, which there should be. It should still be slightly um, inflating. I'm not, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <coughs> Got a bad throat. And if you're using like a turbulence or something, which I am doing on this one, so here I've got some turbulence added so they wobble a bit. 
But you can yeah, you can see on this one we've just made it ends while that's going. So this is probably a bug, but how you fix that is we're gonna add a a jiggle deformer. <laughs> I don't know why this works, but it does. So we put a make sure it's under the morph. And then go on to the object and just turn off the strength of the jiggle deformer. But now now it plays the whole simulation. Um, yeah, and uh, you can use—I mean, you, you can use whatever you want on this, like uh, Voronoi fractures. And now you can put in turbulence, and, and you can just control it more. But anyway, that's how you get um, fields and um, and effectors working on this balloon tab. Right, I'm going to go now before my voice completely goes, but I hope this helps someone.